After a year, which was quite busy in many ways, we decided to imprint this vacation on relaxation, with the hope that Sandals would be able to deliver on all the promises written on their own website. We opted for a suite with a plunge pool and butler. During reservation, we entered all the flight details, as well as food preferences as stated in the butler's preferences section. The website is very old, what we later found out was that all the preferences written during the reservation were lost. In fact, we had to rewrite everything a second time in a much more up-to-date page. A few days before departure, we get an email asking us to re-enter all the flights and their schedules. We do this for the second time, but it will not be the last. In fact, a few days later two more emails arrive asking for the exact same thing. Flight is slightly early, landed in Montego Bay, no special indications for our private transfer. We didn't opt for Club Mobay's arrival package, only the departure package, we didn't regret it since neither document control nor baggage claim took very long. We will tell you more about that later. We finally find a Sandals representative and ask for information, they give us luggage tags and say they will come personally and call us for the transfer. We are then directed to the Sandals lounge, but it is full and there are no seats available. The drink dispenser is not working and there are only chips and sweet snacks to eat. We wait 10 minutes in the lounge, then we overhear our name being called from the loudspeaker, however, we were told that they would come and call us in person. We leave the lounge and get our luggage. Again, it is not clear what happens, we wait on the sidewalk under the sun not knowing when the car will arrive. Fortunately, in a few minutes our driver arrives. The car is clean, but even now we realize that our butler's preferences have not been read. In fact, there are only sandwiches to eat, we specifically said we don't like sandwiches. Considering the cost of 250 US dollars for the private transfer each way and having then tried the shared one on the way back, we don't find it worthwhile to opt for the private one, especially at that price. The transfer takes over two hours due to traffic, as soon as we arrive, we are greeted with a song sung by staff members. According to the website, check-in would take place in the room, but this is not the case. In fact, we go to the Sandals Club to check in. This takes over 10 minutes. Upon arriving at the room, we have no keys, the butler leaves us a phone with which we can reach her by text or call from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. We are also informed that there will be two butlers to cover all the shifts during our stay. It is important to note that this implies no after-dinner service from the butler. On the phone to contact the butler, they left messages from a previous customer, this is definitely a lack of attention to detail. We are told that the card to open the room would arrive immediately, but after 30 minutes they do not arrive. We then decide to go to the gym and inform our butler by text message, we also ask to reserve the table in the restaurant and to bring us two memory foam pillows for the night. We receive no response. After our quick training session of about 30 minutes, we call the butler on the phone and we are told that the keys will be delivered shortly thereafter. We pass now the 1 hour and 15 minutes mark and we still have no keys to get back to our room. We are impatient and write another message. We are finally told to be in front of our room for the delivery of the infamous keys. The butler apologizes for the incident, but we still have to mention the pillow request made before. We are not offered to unpack, let alone iron our dress. We wonder how personalized the service actually is. The minibar is full of sugary drinks despite the fact that we said and written in the preferences we do not drink sugary drinks, and the healthy snacks are simply chocolate with sugar that by the way was never replaced during the vacation. The bathtub was filled, but obviously too soon and in fact the water is practically cold. The room lacks a switch to turn off the lights throughout the room. While the lights in the bathroom and wardrobe are activated by motion sensors, the one in the bathroom, however, remains constantly on as does the fan that is heard all night. It is absurd to think that a newly opened hotel has not thought of putting a blackout switch. 
Also, the motion-activated light in the bathroom is not the best thing ever. We notify the butler about the light and fan problem, he confirms that it will be fixed by evening, but this does not happen. The room is quite noisy as there are vents that are constantly open and consequently let noise through. The internet connection is quite fast and reliable, we never experienced problems during our stay. In addition, our room was in the middle of the building, so the bathroom was illuminated by outside lights. Unfortunately, there are no curtains or a system to black out these windows. Looking again at the amenities promised on the website, two were not met. Distinct Club Sandals Room Key. His and her plush robes. They use the same for man and woman. As mentioned earlier, snacks, honey and tea were never replaced during the whole stay. We decide to go to the beach to relax, the sand is clear and there are several seats. However, we wonder how quiet it can be in high season given the amount of beach chairs present. The same goes for the two pools, which are large but potentially crowded. Speaking of the loungers, however, we were not particularly happy, in fact, they have no mattress, making them not particularly comfortable. There are better loungers at the pool. A very negative side, you can smoke on the beach, there are many hotels like that, but it would be nice to have a non-smoking area. When we returned to our room, the room was not prepared for the night, the curtains were still open and the plate with the welcome food was still in the room. We explicitly said that we do not eat sandwiches, yet they brought us exactly two sandwiches just like during the private transfer. After a shower, we get ready for our first dinner at the Greek restaurant. It goes off without any major hiccups, too bad about the reception where the person at the entrance does not even look us in the face and does not greet us, fortunately, our butler escorts us to the table. Already at this first dinner, we wonder where the promises written on the website are. No amenities before dinner. The table is not decorated in any way. The first overall impression is not positive, but we are not deterred and continue our vacation. The second morning begins with a welcome text message from the butler, shortly after which comes confirmation of the number of the refrigerated box for drinks on the beach. This is definitely a nice perk. The butler takes care of reserving beach or pool chairs. The a la carte breakfast is at the same Greek restaurant we tried the night before, service is rather slow, we order eggs without hollandaise sauce, but they arrive with sauce. The waitress apologizes for the incident, saying she was in a hurry so she missed this detail. Not having looked at all the menus yet, we decide to order lunch on our private balcony, the service works very well although the request for grilled shrimp is not immediately fulfilled as these should have been ordered in advance. However, this statement is not true as grilled shrimps are on a restaurant's lunch menu. Anyway, some shrimp probably taken from the buffet arrive. It is 5 pm and our room has still not been cleaned up, even though the green cleaning sign had been on since morning all day. Once again, there is no preparation for the night, the curtains are not closed, and no amenity for the night. Communication continues to be a problem. We ask if it is possible to arrange a fish dinner on our balcony, the butler tells us we will get an answer shortly, and instead it does not happen. We also write to reserve a table at El Amanda, a French-style restaurant, but we have to write again to find out if the reservation is confirmed. We ask to take anything we don't drink out of the minibar and replace it with sparkling water, unfortunately, however, sugary Schweppes arrives. At this point we write a long message to the butler about the various problems we have encountered including the bathroom light and fan staying on all night. The impression is that our preferences have been totally ignored, especially on the food side, this doubt is later confirmed by the butler the next day, who apologizes and promises to go over our preferences again. Here we also find out that a butler takes care of more than one person, but we cannot say how many. During our stay, 
We tried all the restaurants except the pizzeria, the quality of the food is good, the portions are not too large, and you can always ask for another serving. We really appreciate the attention to not wasting food, however, this unfortunately does not curb other guests from leaving practically untouched plates on the table. There is also a coffee and dessert bar in the resort, the idea is very nice, but the service is mediocre. On our first visit, we order a macchiato coffee, we also ask for a dessert, but it was never served. Evening arrives and finally the problem in the bathroom is partially solved, in fact, the light turns on and off properly. The fan unfortunately, remains on, but it does not bother us. We find a screw and cable on the floor, and some dirt from the work done to fix the light problem. The morning starts on a very positive note, we finally get the coconut water we had been asking for two days. The butler confirms to us the absence of the dress code, saying that unfortunately they cannot force this rule, we remain a bit puzzled by this statement since the website clearly mentions this rule. Having arrived at this point of the vacation, we already understand that the problem seen so far, will not be solved. At lunch we try the Jamaican restaurant and order the fish, there are only two options to choose from. The fish is good, but there are really a lot of bones. Late in the afternoon we return to our room and the butler brings us a shrimp salad, a much appreciated gesture. We also discover that undesired drinks have been removed from the minibar and finally replaced with sparkling water and coconut water. Tonight's restaurant is Hanami, the highlight obviously being the sushi. Excited to taste one of our favorite foods, the butler seats us at the counter and then takes his leave. We wait, and wait some more, after more than 15 minutes we can finally order, but our wait does not end there, the appetizer is served after 25 minutes. Once the plate is finished, the rest we ordered arrives frantically, literally one plate after another. Before dessert, we decide to taste the carpaccio again, and this time the wait reaches 30 minutes. It was the longest dinner we had during the whole vacation. New day and new hopes. For lunch we visit the seaside restaurant where we order two salads with the catch of the day. They inform us that the wait time is 20 minutes, we are happy with this information because this is exactly what we are looking for, we have no problem waiting, but the customer needs to know if the wait time is longer than normal. Our excitement lasts exactly 20 minutes, just enough time to realize that they bring us two fish fillets but only one salad. We cannot even call ourselves disappointed but we try to keep our spirits high and explore the other services. After all, the butler's level has risen from the beginning. A second visit to the Blum for coffee does not improve the first impression, in fact, we order two cappuccinos and a dessert, but unfortunately, dessert is not served this time either. The resort also has a buffet for both breakfast and lunch, the quality is more than acceptable and the choice good. In the afternoon, as we usually do, we visit the gym. The view is certainly very nice and reminds us of the one in Mexico. The equipment available is in excellent condition but rather limited in terms of exercises. Even the cleanliness does not satisfy us, it happened several mornings to find dirty glasses obviously forgotten from the previous night.
Inexorably, time passes, and we arrive at the last day of the year. Note how we had to ask several times for the planned menu for dinner. After looking at the various proposals, we opt for the Amanda. To our surprise, there is no option to buy champagne by the glass, only the whole bottle or the house champagne which, however, does not exactly meet our tastes. As an alternative they offer us a 1000 US dollars package that includes three bottles of champagne. Of course, we refuse as we have no intention of getting drunk. Incidentally, we don't really understand the offer, since according to the card, buying the bottles directly from the wine list, has a total cost of 790 US dollars. Interesting. Our evening starts with dinner at El Amanda at 7.30 pm, the menu is not exactly as described on the card, in fact, we both order the Chateaubriand that should be served at the table, but this is not done. The meat is good, but it is a very normal entrecote. Just enough time to finish the meat and dessert arrives. It is 8.15 pm and dinner is over. Our butler is not available as his shift ends at 8 pm, once more we realize that the additional cost for the butler does not make much sense, we do not have a reserved seat for the New Year's Eve, in general we do not have any kind of advantage. We then decide to go to the bar to wait for the festivities to begin, but no one asks us what we want to drink, the bartender talks to other customers and ignores us, so after 10 minutes, we leave. There is not much to say about the rest of the evening, the music is not engaging, often at a very slow pace and therefore not very energizing, the seating is limited, and the entertainment is practically zero. They clearly were not prepared for an indoor party because of the rain. But this cannot be a justification. Fifteen minutes before midnight, by chance, we meet a waiter who tells us to hurry to the beach for the fireworks. At least on the beach, the music is more rhythmic and we can somehow celebrate the arrival of the new year. If last year in India we did not have high expectations for New Year's Eve, this time our expectation was different, but we were disappointed. The new year begins with rain, we stay in the room and begin to rethink what we have experienced so far, we also notice some defects in the room. For lunch the wait is very long, we ask for sparkling water to drink but unfortunately it never arrived. Finally, in the afternoon, the weather improves. Unfortunately, however, the beach chairs do not have towels, we write to the butler to have them brought to us since there are none on the beach. He says he would bring them to us shortly, but after about 10 minutes, the towels arrive for everyone without butler's help. The dinner on the balcony requested a few days before, is prepared very well, the fish is very good and everything seems well organized, we had asked for two different desserts, but two identical ones arrived. But we want to enjoy this dinner without thinking too much about this detail. We are really happy with this dinner and want to believe that it will get better and better in the coming days. In the morning we wake up to find that neither the butler's phone nor the phone in the room works. A great way to start. Your call has been answered by a via IP office. Extension 7050. If not available, to leave a message, wait for the tone. When finished recording, press pound for more options. We go to Club Sandals and are treated rather badly. First, they ask us to reboot the phone despite having already done so, then, in a very hasty manner, we are told that our butler will arrive to accompany us to the beach. The fact of the matter is that we have to wait quite a lot to go to the beach not knowing which beach chairs are ours. Not the best way to head toward the end of our vacation, but by now our hopes for improvement are almost zero. Before dinner, we visit the bar on the top floor, which is completely empty, the bartender is obviously bored, and when we arrive we find him sitting at a table. He doesn't even bring us a drink card, we have to ask for it. Two of the four drinks are not available. Fortunately, the one we command arrives quickly and we enjoy the view. Penultimate day, new problem, 
the cards to open the room do not work. We went to the front desk to get them fixed because the butler did not respond despite us telling him about the problem. This time the process works slightly better and in a matter of minutes our keys are working again. So we arrive at the last night, where we also try the last restaurant in South American style. The dinner is good, but the waitress is a bit clumsy. At the end of dinner, she also asks us to write a review on TripAdvisor mentioning her name. We walk to the room thinking about what we experienced during our stay, open the door, and, surprise. The butler has prepared a hot bath for us and decorated the room in honor of our anniversary. This gesture gives us great pleasure, at the same time we understand that potential exists, but a lot of things prevent this potential to be fully appreciated. Checkout should be done in the room, but again it is not and we have to go to the front desk ourselves. At least the luggage does not have to be carried by us. The attitude of the staff at Club Sandals is very poor, as we have experienced before, they do not show the slightest desire to get things done. We board the bus that will take us to the airport, the transportation is virtually identical to the private one, we are glad we did not opt for the private transfer on the way back as well. We also want to briefly review Club Mobays at the airport. This is not a sandal service but is offered during the reservation. There are essentially two options, purchase the arrival or departure package, or a more advantageous package that includes both services. In our case, we opted for departure only, as there was not a big line for document control and security, but if not, it might be a viable option. It is important to note that many airlines do not have a lounge, consequently buying this package may make sense. The choice of food is basic, as is the quality. The staff is a gamble, some are very surly and arrogant while others are nicer. Cleanliness is decent, but the cost of admission is not fully justified. In conclusion, Sandals Dunn's River definitely disappointed our expectations. Of the services listed on the website, few were actually implemented. From check-in to check-out to dinner amenities, decorated and preferred table, nothing at all. Coconut water was brought only once and then that was it. The times when a meal was served correctly from start to finish without a hitch can be counted on one hand. The hotel, in addition to not keeping the promises written on the website, does not even enforce simple regulations such as dress code. When an establishment decides to place itself in the luxury category, as we have seen in the past, one cannot simply raise the price without proving themselves up to par. Paying more for an additional service such as a butler really has to make a difference, otherwise it makes no sense. In our case, it did not make a difference. We certainly appreciated some gestures very much, but overall the money spent on this service we would not spend again. The same goes for the hotel, in addition to what we said before, the impression this facility gave us is not that of a new and well-structured resort. Many details are missing or not well implemented. From the room to the common areas through to the service which is, especially in the restaurants, extremely forced and blatantly not up to what the hotel itself would like to do. We hope you enjoyed our review, feel free to leave a comment and like, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and, as always, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook for real-time updates on our experiences.